Hi, Dr. William Starziak here. Uh, I recently put up a video about uh, decreasing chronic neck pain and discussed something called upper cross syndrome. Now, there's another condition that's called lower cross syndrome, and that can be associated with back pain. And the concept is very similar. So when we talked about the upper cross syndrome, we were talking about the balance of tension between the trapezius muscle and the pectoralis muscles. And the pectoralis muscles are tighter, we use them more, they're stronger, so they overpower the trapezius. So the trapezius becomes tense to try to bring the shoulders back to balance. So what lower cross syndrome looks like is it's actually between the psoas muscles and the hamstring muscles and gluteus muscles. The psoas muscle is the muscle that if I straighten my leg, it's, that's the muscle that does that action. And now the, the gluteus muscles and the hamstrings, they'll bring the leg back into extension. So these muscles are in a state of balanced tension. The reason we have problems with uh, lower cross syndrome is because we sit so much. And when we're seated, our thighs are flexed, the psoas muscle is shortened, and it gets used to being short. And it's a very deep, strong muscle. So then when we go to stand up, the hamstrings and the glutes have to contract more to try and bring the psoas to its normal length. This increases the amount of tension on the system. It's like there's a tug of war, and this can cause compression through the lumbar spine. And that compression can lead to discs having more pressure on them, and it can also lead to uh, narrowing of the openings for the nerves and thus pain. And it could also restrict motion of the lumbar vertebrae. So the way that you can help relieve back pain in the setting of lower cross syndrome is stretching out the psoas muscle. There's a lot of different ways to stretch out the psoas muscle. I'm not going to demonstrate it in this video. Uh, you can YouTube it and find all sorts of people showing all sorts of different stretches. I've shown one on this page that is really good so long as you're not having any acute pain uh, on the knee because one of the knees will be down on the ground. Um, but you can find this video under the hip external rotator and hip flexor stretches. Those are great stretches to pair together uh, because one will get the glute and piriformis muscles and the other will get the psoas muscles. I'll go ahead and link that video at the end of this one. So that's lower cross syndrome. Uh, sometimes your back pain is actually coming from the deepest abdominal muscles, uh, the psoas muscles. Again, thank you for taking the time to check out this video. Please check out my other ones and my website if you want more information, www.drstarsiak.com. Hope you have a great day.